Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new series on the Angler where we are going to be starting a brand new account. I've created a second uh, account here on a different Steam account and we're going to play through from the very beginning with no DLC to kind of get an idea of what the experience is like for the brand new players that have just got the game on console or may have picked up the game through the uh, Steam or Epic Games sales that have been happening recently. And we're just going to see how difficult it is to progress with this new progression system that was added with the most recent update. This series is going to cover pretty much any type of info you could possibly want to know. We're going to be uh, kind of looking at stuff you can do at low levels, uh, how to level up quickly, the best spots to go to at each level, the best gear to get, all that type of stuff will be shown off throughout this series. So if you're wanting to know all of that, be sure to watch this series. It's going to be giving a ton of useful information on the game and just stuff that I've learned over my few hundred hours of playtime. Now, one of the first things I recommend doing, if you don't like the casting in this game, go into the accessibility settings and turn on accessible cast. It'll make it so it's just a single press of a button and you just release it when you get to the uh, power level that you want. It is so nice in comparison to the other system where you have to pull back and then push forward. So if you don't like that system, go to the accessible cast. It's really, really good. Uh, we're also going to be doing uh, rod tracking strength 85. That makes it so it doesn't track the rod as closely but it'll still do it a, a, a little bit so if uh, you don't like the way that it tracks the rod you can change this setting right here uh, to whatever you're liking is really I'm also turning off all the strike sound effects I, I always play with those off and I also play with minimal strike indicator so it just flashes on the tension meter instead of popping the strike symbol on the screen that's just my personal preferences but if you guys like my settings this is what I've got them at I also play with an 85 field of view as well as a crouch toggle on and the imperial unit system. So there you guys go. I get so many questions about what my settings are to get it to look and play the way that I've got it. So there it is right there. Now let's go ahead and step up to the dock and start the uh, first tutorial. Let's see what we end up getting. Welcome to Golden Ridge Reserve. To ease you in, you'll be presented with some short explanations and instructions. These instructions will cover controls on how to catch your first few fish. Once you finish the tutorial, you will be connected to online multiplayer automatically. All you need to do is sign in with your Apex Connect account, which we have already done. So let's go ahead and start catching some fish. Let's see uh, what they've got for the tutorial now. I know I haven't played this since they've made those uh, adjustments to it. So let's see how this ends up working out. So we start out just by reeling in. And now it's telling us how to do the, uh, the casting. There we go. Let's see if we can catch our first fish. Now, I put up a poll recently asking if you guys wanted to see these be shorter, more edited episodes, or if you wanted to see episodes that were longer with less editing so you can get more of the information and just see a lot of the, the process of leveling up as well as just doing all the fishing, finding the locations, exploring, etc. And the poll results were that you guys wanted to see me do a mix of both. So that's what we're going to be doing. This is probably going to be one of the longer episodes, as this is, like, all the starting stuff, so there's a lot to show off. And there is our first fish, a juvenile mountain whitefish. Let's go. Catching fish will earn you XP and credits. Credits allow you to buy new equipment and apparel from the shop. Under earn enough XP and you will level up, unlocking additional equipment in the shop. Beautiful. Love to see it. All right, so we need to go over here now. I believe it's going to tell us to go to the tower at some point. I remember that used to be a thing. Oh, there we go. We just located it now. Let's head down to the shopkeeper and we will continue the uh, tutorial missions from there. And there we go. Our first new fast travel location has been unlocked and now we are able to fast travel here whenever we want to to get back to the uh, shopkeeper as well as being able to get to all the surrounding waterways that are here. Also, be sure to pick these up anytime that you see them. These are collectibles, and the collectibles give you XP, as well as also, if you get all of them of a specific type, you end up completing a mission for the Warden, I believe, which is definitely a good thing to do, as you get a lot of uh, reputation and experience and stuff like that for doing so. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to the shopkeeper. Press Q to open the quick chat, or the quick, quick menu. Uh, select the bait and switch to minnows. Okay, perfect. Let's go to minnows. It's nice they give you some free minnows. That is really, really nice because minnows are one of the best baits in the game. And there we go. We've got another collectible right here. That one being a Lewis and Clark Exposition Gold Dollar. Love to see it. All right, we are now on the jetty. Let's go ahead and catch a fish. See what we can get off of here. 
I'm assuming it'll either be a bass or a crappie or something of the sort. There we go. Yeah, that's either a crappie or a sunfish. Potentially a bluegill. I think this is probably going to be a sunfish. Oh no, it is a crappie. Perfect. 0.23 black crappie. And that's going to be the fish for that mission right there. Well done. Swapping your bait slash lure is a good strategy to use if you're not getting any bites or want to try catching different species. Changing hooks will affect the size of fish that bite. Small fish will not bite bigger hooks. I'm glad they explain all of this with the new tutorial because before it did not really explain any of that stuff. I remember when I first got the game, there was a lot of stuff that I just did not know because they didn't really explain like what to do, how to do it, what was the purpose of things. Now they actually kind of explain everything, which is good to see. Managing drag and line tension is important when catching bigger fish. Too much tension and the line could snap. Too little drag and the fish will start swimming away. Tension is viewed by the circle in the bottom right corner of the screen, which is the uh, little meter you see in the bottom right as you're fishing. Let's go ahead and change the drag like it says. X and Z. I guess it's not really required. I guess it's not requiring us to do that. It's just uh, saying that we can. Let's try to catch another fish. See if we can get anything good. Yeah, there we go. That's a smallmouth. That is definitely a smallmouth bass right there. I'm assuming that is why they're talking about the drag is because this is a bigger fish. So we likely will have to uh, tone down the drag a little bit. Yep. Yep, that's exactly what it was. So what we're going to do here is just feather it in. There we go. A bronze smallmouth bass. Love to see it. Well done. A higher drag increases the stopping power of your reel, preventing fish from taking line. This also increases the line tension, which is a double-edged sword. A higher tension will tire the fish faster, but also puts the line at risk of snapping. Sometimes the fish will be too large for the gear and require stronger tackle. Now we head over to greet the warden. Let's go see what he needs us to do. I believe he's going to give us another mission to do. The Warden of Golden Ridge Reserve works to protect the environment in the park. He asks visitors to keep an eye open for invasive plant species, diseased trees, and malfunctioning equipment, among other things. If you see one of these objects, you can interact with them to let the Warden know. So, yeah, this is just explaining what all of the different Warden favors are. Take a mission from the challenge board. We can go ahead and do that over here. This challenge board is going to be something you will be going to a lot throughout your time playing this game if you want to earn all the reputation to purchase tackle in the souvenir shop. Because the only way to get reputation is through doing the different sorts of missions and challenges throughout the game, aside from the weekly and daily challenges. Those do not give you reputation, but all the other challenges you get from this board right here, or that you would get from uh, the Warden Favors, will give you reputation. The challenge board holds different types of challenges and other calls to action. There is a challenge board at every outpost in the reserve. As you complete challenges, more will unlock. There are three different types of challenges. Each one involves finding a location and catching a specific fish. This board also has two unique missions. The Golden Tour leads you around the key locations in the reserve, while Taylor's Tackle Academy teaches the fishing mechanics in detail. These missions are recommended for new players, which we will be doing the Taylor's Tackle Academy in a separate video. Let's go ahead and select the mission right here. Welcome to Taylor's Tackle Academy. In this series of missions, you will be taught the basics of the game. There are four classes, each involving a series of objectives, followed by a challenge. Recommended for beginners, you are able to follow these classes for extra information in between your own exploration and fishing. So that is going to be, I believe, the start of the Taylor's Tackle. And then it looks like we also have another one to do. This class will cover float fishing, baits, and hook depth. The lesson will continue when you reach the marked location. And then here's just telling us about multiplayer. You can pause and read this if you would like. And there we go, 100 credits, 20 minnows, 10 reputation. Love to see it. We completed the tutorial. So let's go ahead and uh, see if there's anything left uh, tutorial-wise. I know that we've got the Taylor's Tackle, but is there anything else that we have? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so that is actually going to be the end of episode one as we see all these new baits popping up. It looks like we got a ton of bait and XP and stuff for completing that. But we're going to go ahead and end episode one there. This was the tutorial mission. If you guys are having trouble with it, hopefully this helped. We are going to be going through the entire playthrough of this game in this series. Next up will be the Taylor's Tackle Academy missions. I know a lot of you have been struggling with those and wanted some type of a guide on how to do it. So we're going to do that in the next episode.
Thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like. And if you have a question, leave a comment down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.